What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, Kid, back at it again. Hope you're doing well, continuing that journey of let them eat cake. You know we're excited to see another episode. This will be episode three. Quick reminder, snacks is not included, damn it. You gotta bring your own. And as always, just thanks for hanging out and watching today. I have jump-started my day. Um, had a little bit of sausage and eggs. My coffee as usual. That's, you know, my drink of choice as always. And now... I need a little entertainment, so hopefully you guys come kick it with me, and yeah, let's just go watch this episode. How about that? Let's do it. Snacks not included. Damn it. Bring your own. Let's get it. Another episode starts right now. Who's this guy? Who are you? What? Gentlemen, I hope. A thief, certainly. A thief? Well, then you are also a duel and a booby. No one steals from the contest of Ash Monsieur unless he wants to spend the next the next ten years looking for his scrotum. Steal any kisses. I'm a plunderer of passion, my dear. Oh. A cut purse of copulation. Oh, are you? <laughs> Lust is inexhaustible. Is it? Is it? You will not deny me. Oh, I don't think I will. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, now I think I prefer them cooked. I not to learn. Oh, holy oh, shit. Teach me. Yes. Oh, teach me. Oh. Yes, teach me everything you know. Oh, oh yes. Jesus. Oh, ravage me. I hear the Marquis de Sade has escaped from prison again. Holy shit! Oh, yes. CDSM? Oh, damn! Incroyable. That's the only word for it. Incroyable. That is a word, isn't it? Yes, that's one of them. You realise I was sleeping in the next room? I mean, that could have been me grossly debauched with a pig's bladder pulled down over my head. <laughs> Mind you, I have done that at parties. I assume Madame is going ahead with her appointments for the day. Going ahead? <laughs> Any idea what I've been through, Monsieur? I've been subjected to things that even she hasn't done. <laughs> the apple! The apple! The apple! No, Mistress, I have removed the apple already. Oh. I just thank God it wasn't Friday, otherwise that would have been a melon by your bed. Oh, <laughs> All right. Might I remind Madame about the portrait? Portrait? Madame has an appointment to sit for possibly the greatest living artist in the world. Uh, well, in case you haven't noticed, I'm in no condition to sit for anything at no, the moment. That's right. Oh! <laughs> Let me leave it a week or two. Madame Vigée Lebrun is a very in-demand artiste. Oh, oh. She's departing in six days to paint General Faux Pas in America. Oh. Well, I'm afraid the General will have to wait. He can't wait. He's dead. Oh. And as soon as they found all the bits, the King wishes him immortalised. Oh, I trust this Madame widgery Doodle. Vigée Lebrun. Oh, I trust she's highly fashionable. The height of fashion. Oh, I don't pose for anybody, you know. She's not an anybody. I believe the Duchesse de Dunkirk was so pleased with her portrait, she hung it in the loo. Damn. No, no, no. Louvre. I'm sorry, Louvre. <laughs> Where it is hoped one day there might be a very famous art gallery. <laughs> I'm for someone who's normally accustomed to whitewashing a vestibule. I've done that. Look at her. <laughs> Horrible. Those aren't my feet. <laughs> the woman is a phenomenon. Never has there been a more glittering, talked-about, incandescent personality. Is that because you paint? Is that relevant? Well, I hear she did a stunning job with the Baroness de Boulogne's schnauzer. 
<laughs> she didn't pose with a schnauzer. Oh. <laughs> she didn't show her schnauzer. <laughs> uh, we have to see that lizard. We have to see her schnauzer. <laughs> Mm. It's not quite what you're thinking, madame. It's uh, actually a dog. <laughs> oh, horrible. <laughs> no, no, no. That is her artistic style, madame. Sentimental. Yeah, she likes doing portraits, you know, where people are weeping over their dead pets kind oh. of thing. You know, like, my poor beloved hamster is gone. My rabbit shall rut no more. Oh, my God, my guppy's dead. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. All right. Yeah. I see, yes. Hi. I think this might be a good opportunity to show Madame softer, feminine, more romantic side. Well, it would be good, yes. A softer, romantic or feminine side. Just go and kill some animals, is it? <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh, is this a dress or a contraceptive, monsieur? If I had been allowed to take measurements. Oh, you're a couturier. You should be able to use your eyes. Fortunately, I didn't have an eye wide enough. <laughs> Damn. Ladle! Ladle? If I am to get my breast even halfway in, I will require a ladle! <laughs> I trust Madame had a good journey? Short, dear. I came from next door, doing a poodle in oils. Oh. Would the little bugger stay still? Would it bollocks? <laughs> Had to murder it. <laughs> oh, she's got the picture, I'll to remind her. But, like I said, she can stroke that with no fear of getting the mange. Oh, I know. You wouldn't believe the amount of mange we have to put up with these days. It's this period in history, dear. You know the only way to cure a poodle of the mange? Boil it for six hours. Comes up like new. Probably calms it down quite considerably, I should think. Well, oh. exactly. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> what? What? That's an interesting face you've got there, dear, isn't it? Oh. Ever been done in pastels? No, I haven't travelled much at all, actually. <laughs> oh, now, I don't want you to treat me with too much respect because I am also from the gutter. Oh. Father was a prostitute, mother ran off before I was born. <laughs> I've eaten horse droppings, dear, and you don't forget that in a week. <laughs> the thing to do is to marry well, which I did. Lovely man. Not huge in the dick department, but very well in <laughs> <laughs> So, shall we slap some carmine on the canvas? Right, well, I'll, I'll just ascertain if Madame is ready. <laughs> Whoa. Well? Compensated. A triumph. Never has there been such a... Colossus of beauty. You can't see me, can you? Yes, yes. Bits. <laughs> Mistress, oh, uh -huh. ah. who put you up to that? <laughs> Mistress, that really is just so. It's well, it's a dress. <laughs> if Mistress is ready, I'd like Mistress. to introduce you to Madame Vijay Lebrush. Excellent. Interesting. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> just shuffling in. Could you get me some wine, dear? Nothing expensive, because in my family, the nearest we got to a good claret was humping a vintner. <laughs> my dad was not noted for his bouquet. Ah, I've heard very good reports of you, madame. <laughs> Lovely. Oh. <laughs> well, I trust nice. you have everything you need. You'll need more than that, girl. Can I bring the bottle? I bring the barrel. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, may I make a suggestion? I believe I am something of a trendsetter. Yes? Lose the wig. Because, you see, we don't need it. What? I, I think we do. Now, trust me on this. Long, flowing, natural locks. That's all the rage now. Can we try it? Come on, it's a fire. Very well. 
Let's see. Holy shit! Have we had the box? The fuck? No, just the mange. If you may say so, madame, I think a wig brings something to a woman. Well, it certainly brings hair. <laughs> second thoughts, I think we can live with the wig. Uh, because, uh, frankly, I don't have a one bristle paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> However, the dress will have to go. This is an outrage. Uh, this garment, ma madame, is that what it was that you said? A oh, reflection of my personality. Are we having treatment? <laughs> <laughs> now, are you telling me this is not the very zenith of fashion? Not in France, no. Yes. Although I do know a couple of transvestites who give anything. <laughs> what we're looking for now is simplicity. Like this. Hell Basic. yeah. Comfortable. Not got her tits rammed in like a couple of press ducks. <laughs> do you have anything like that? <sighs> Ooh, huh? hmm? Simple. Simple. Unostentatious. Unostentatious, monsieur. And what is your response to this revolution in those culture? Hanging gardens of Babylon. Thank you, Lizette, the hanging gardens of Babylon. I was <laughs> simply following Madame's instructions. Start with the Taj Mahal and work up. Oh, and with the prices you charge, monsieur, I could have bought the real thing. Oh, believe me, dear, you'd have had trouble getting into that, too. <laughs> this is all the I hate it, I hate it. Yet another triumph for Maison Buffon. Oh, I knew you look so smug. I paid for that dress. I believe me, somewhere this high, there's a, there's a horse still looking for his nose bag. <laughs> I certainly had my oats in it. <laughs> what we require, monsieur, is something, something understated, something elegant, something diaphanous, something you can see me through. By the time Madame Virgin Lubricant returns tomorrow, I demand to be the very epitome of style! <laughs> Morning! Oh. Again? <laughs> He's been back again, hasn't he? Oh. Am I right? You gotta hand it to him, though. He's very creative with his fruit. <laughs> here, here, here. Jesus. What? What? Other banana, other banana. <laughs> I want him found. I want him dragged back here. And I want disgusting, diabolical, painful things done to him. I think he'd quite enjoy that. <laughs> I should think he'd pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> With my no protection. I am certain, mistress, he'll soon be back behind bars, where he will fester and rot and moulder and die. <laughs> but just in case, I've put a big spiky trench in under your pillow. Oh, yes, yes. Well, from now on, you're sleeping in my bedroom. As my mistress wishes. Mm. A wise precaution, madame. Safety in numbers. Oh, no, I won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What? Well, if there's any trouble, I'll be just the other side of the Alps. What? He's actually quite safe. Don't worry about it. He doesn't actually kill people, does he? At the last count, I believe it was 132. What? What? Oh, oh, over 10 years. That's... 13. 13 a year? What's 13, is it? Unlucky for some. <laughs> I'm sure you have nothing whatever to fear. Flee! Flee for your life! Oh, the great defiler of women has struck again! We shall almost assuredly be debauched in our nineties! And quite possibly defecated on. <laughs> Does he do that, dear? I thought he did, dear. No, that's the Duke de Dordogne, you dear. Well, they both deserve a good smash bottom, dear. Yes. <gasps> flee! Run! Yes, run! Run, run and flee! Run! They were a bit funny. Run! Dresses. Fifty, fifty, fifty dresses. Everybody going. <laughs> Jesus. You get a carriage for me and ten for the jewelry. 
Could Madame permit me a teeny question? Oh, yes. Well, I can't help noticing that everybody is, as they say in common parlance, which I think is the right expression for people who speak normal, doing a runner. <laughs> which is understandable, isn't it? Because no one wants to be attacked in the night by an evil and vicious pervert. No offence. <laughs> <laughs> so not everyone is leaving. No, that's right, isn't it? Because there's me, isn't there? I'm staying. You are, yes. Well, I'm sure Madame can guess my question then. I am not in the habit of explaining my actions, Lisette. You're staying because I've said you're staying. Unless, of course, you would prefer to leave my employ and return to your previous profession. <laughs> mm. oh, Hello. Hello. Have a good time, sir. I'm a busty 16-year-old. Very good French. <laughs> Greeks extra, obviously. Yes, sir, yeah, 16, my ass. Yes. <laughs> like a good time, sir, or a bad time, I do both. Mm. <laughs> like to visit my special love grotto, sir. Is that not very pretty? <laughs> I've come to offer you one, one last final chance, this head. Come back now, and we shall say no more about it. Chinese princess, dear. I'm educated in all the many mystical oriental arts of pleasure. <laughs> Perhaps you don't realize what I am going through. I am the victim of constant and vicious sexual harassment. So? Well, you quite like that kind of thing, don't you? Does Madame take me for a drool and a booby? Yes, a bit, obviously. I may not have been educated at university, madame, but I am no one's gobes mouche or rantipole. Now move along, you stinking wretch, and get your own patch. Half price tart available, bargain <laughs> tickets! Can I ring your bell, sir? Oh, move on, move on. Shit. If a wrong tree was barked up, dear, he's it. Thank you. All right, I want you to go over and explain to that ignorant baggage why it is imperative that she return. I'm not sure that being murdered is sufficient incentive. <laughs> the incentive, monsieur, is that you're saving my life. The Marquis de Sade is obviously obsessed with my extraordinarily glacial beauty and won't desist until I am ravaged to extinction. Or... Someone he thinks is madame. Yes, her. Surely there must be some alternative. <laughs> <laughs> no freaking move way. Move in it, monsieur. Move, move. Walk up and down, feel the dress. Oh, I must retire. Come on, sing. Do something. I thought you people were supposed to be good at this. Some of us. Others would rather be seen molesting a partridge. Yes, <laughs> I have been. Oh, it's hopeless. You're nothing but a, a grotesque parody of a woman, sir. No, take it off. I shall go back to Lisette and use every ounce of my charm. Charm. God bless you, sir. Look at that bank. <laughs> Come again. <laughs> if you can manage it. Madame <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lautista. Do you remember me? Simple and ostentatious. Hello. <laughs> what brings you to these dark, dirty, dangerous back streets? Visiting, my dear. My parents. Oh. Of course, I did think of introducing them to my new and luxurious lifestyle, but then I thought, why? They're happy. I should be so lucky only to have a collapsed lung and rickets to worry about. Yeah, they're amongst their own kind here, aren't they? That's you? right. Also, it gives me somewhere to go when the Marquis de Sade escapes. Yeah. Well, there's nothing for him here, is there? Only syphilis, dear. And he's got that already. Fortunately, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's back behind bars. Oh. Is he? I didn't know that. They're keeping it very hush hush because he didn't officially escape. The Bastille walls, you see, are supposed to be impregnable, and he keeps impregnating them. <laughs> oh, is there no end to his depravities? <laughs> so, so, hang on. No one knows he's back behind bars? Shh. Oh, shh. Au revoir. Au revoir. Man, she got the 411. No, sorry, love, closed. <laughs> Yeah, you see, everyone has their weaknesses, monsieur, and I think I know hers. A fancy supper somewhere and what I've got in my purse should persuade her. 
So, where's my nearest clean and respectable eating house? Let's go, so, go, so. Parasite. Ooh. Yeah, it's parasite. <laughs> it's customary around aristocrats. Oh, right, right, right. Very pleasant. <laughs> Do you know, it brings back fond memories of when you worked for me, Lisette. It is of that I wish to speak, Lisette. D'accord. Naturellement. Je vous écoute. <laughs> Well, no, 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 listen, listen. Um, what, I, what I want to say is, I want you to return. Certainly, yes. I mean, I'm cognizant of the dangers, but I'm prepared to pay... I beg your pardon. Return, yes, happily. And probably quite surprisingly for you, I should think. But you're agreeing to come back to work for me? Yeah. You're going to come back to work for me, yes. and that's agreed. You're going to agree to come back to work yes. for you. You're coming back. Oh, yes. Hello. Well, no need to hang around here. Much as I'd like to stay for the birth, <laughs> <laughs> my carriage is blocking a cul-de-sac. <laughs> oh, well, we can't have that, can we? No, 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 no. You don't want to be towed away? Absolutely you? not. Come on, let's go. Certainly. Just as soon as Madame has signed this contract. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is it. This, this contract. Mm, which you have signed, Madame. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But here it says, I must not sing. Yeah, that's right, yeah. But, uh, I thought you liked my singing. Well, there is one song. Oh, yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, silly sheep, oh, silly sheep, for you are not but shorn. But I, I rest my heart and cry all through. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> Sing that one more time, and I am now legally entitled to nail your tongue to the wardrobe. Yes. Oh, <coughs> oh, that shit sucks. This, uh, what about this bit here on page two, paragraph five? Mm -hmm. Remind it, me of that says, one. It says, uh, Madame must learn to pee pee in the pot provided and not on the living room floor. <laughs> yes, and never again in company, thank you. Jesus. How am I supposed to do that? Nasty girl. Hmm? I mean, sometimes, what, what if, the, if the pot's in another room? I mean, it can take me six months in these dresses to get through here. Hmm? Well, then Madame must learn to hold on to it, just like everybody else. Well, I can't, I can't. I'm just not born to that. I can't. I... What? She, don't tell me she did it. Oh, no, you're doing it again! <laughs> I just can't. I can't help it. Well, you owe me ten leave for that, and you're going to mop that up yourself. I hope you've noticed the most important clause in there. What's that? Page seven. Page seven. Yeah, have a look. Madame must learn to open doors. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't. Of course you can. Go on, give it a try. No, I can't. I refuse to make any effort on that one, madam. I refuse. All right, then. I completely understand. I'm off now, then. All right, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. Give me a moment. It's a door. Lovely door. Oh, that's interesting, isn't that? It goes down. No, this area is where you need to concentrate right. here. Right. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, no, turn. Put your hand on there, on the handle. Turn and pull. I've got to look. I've no, got on, no strength. I've got pull. no strength. On, turn, pull. I can't pull. do it. Oh, I've just got do it. I can't just do it. it. I can't do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've got your wig in the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it, yes. isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Natural and relaxed. I almost feel we could have a breast hanging out if it takes your fancy. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I only ask because it can focus attention away from an uninteresting face. Oh. <laughs> right. no, actually, madame, I would like to be seen as a, as a sensitive, very human woman. Human? Yes. yes. We can try. Oh. <laughs> That's hard madame, work, madame, I, I thought perhaps weeping over a dead canary. Do we have a dead canary? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> oh, shit. And I thought I would stand about here looking up at Madame with something just short of admiration. Am I doing both? I didn't realise. No, I didn't realise. Oh, yes. 
Page four, clause oh. two, it's quite specific. Oh my God. No, she's right, she's right. Thank you. Would you like a breast out there? Oh yes, absolutely, I'll do both if you like. Now that's interesting, oh, isn't it? Oh. I thought it made quite a good contrast with the canary, what do you think? <laughs> oh, sure. Yes, please. <laughs> I love her now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Page four, clause two, subsection three. I'm hungry, that's all right. I'm hungry, thank you. Oh, it's getting rather dark out there. <laughs> She'll be all right, will you? Yeah. Sleeping here all alone and... Unprotected in this rather eerie, rather <laughs> easily broken into bedroom. <laughs> page one. It's page one of the contract. Yes, I know. I'm sure I shall be most comfortable. A bit of a storm brewing out there. But you don't mind that, you know, huge thunder and lightning and things. Hmm? No. 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 Yeah, well, sleep well. You've got your pineapple. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I shall enjoy that. Yeah. yeah. Book off, book off. <laughs> All right, then. Night, night. Chill. Chill. <laughs> Pretty confident. I confess myself a tad confused, madame. Huh? Surely the Marquis de Sade was apprehended early this morning. Yes, he was. <laughs> Bit of a hunchback, apparently. Yes, long, straggly beard, teeth falling out all over the place. Don't <laughs> be long, dear. Will you be going out again tonight? Just for a while, dear. We've seen him before, I forgot. Problem mm. in, not out, dear. Mm. What do we think? <laughs> now, where is that contract? Mm. <laughs> what do you think, Lizette? The pineapple or the contract? Mm. Oh, the contract, <laughs> I think. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> <man. laughs> Why is that the spell <laughs> <laughs> that artiste was cool too. I like when that music goes like that. It just seems like opening songs and shit. All right, hold on a second, ladies and gents. We got to talk about it. Don't go anywhere. It's a crazy, crazy, interesting show. A lot of. BDSM shit, crazy shit going on in this one. Hold on a second. Holy sh shit, man. This episode, man, was probably one way to one word to describe it, man. And it was a little wicked on this episode, man. A lot of crazy things happening on this episode from the jump. You know, you got essentially the dude, uh, uh, the Marquise dude ravaging and having his way with some sick twisted type shit uh you know she thought she was gonna have a good time but man those positions with bondage bdsm all that shit rolling up into one so we can understand it's, it's, it's crazy shit we can understand that uh you know Colombin would want to have a trade-off essentially with lizette and again uh, we, we eventually get a lot of these names but lizette Oh my God, Donnie's such a great character on this on the show. Uh, you know, obviously we've fallen in love with her as Geraldine Granger. Uh, you know, Vicar Dibley, but man, she's she's great on this one too. I mean, between both of them feeding off each other, you know, line after line, it's crazy. Like even when that uh, the painting lady, I'll just call it a painter lady, who, who's definitely had an interesting life. You know, she got to settle with short dick guys and shit like that. She was definitely an interesting character in her own, uh, you know, with the painting scenes and stuff. When she was trying to 
get uh you know um Colin Bean whatever to lose the wig and god that is a sight for sore eyes she even was like you know do you have the pox and then you got like that saying no she got the mage oh shit man I, I was i was massively in that moment there yeah laughing but a lot of shock and awe there so this this the show definitely has some shock and awe moments there when i feel a little traumatized god damn that was some crazy shit, man. That that crazy funny. Like I, I I gonna definitely have to go back and just look at that uh again. But thinking about one of the the strengths of the show, obviously you know set uh back then, and I appreciate the decor and the outfits and seeing all this cool stuff. But one thing that it it it, it was interesting. It's the almost the same way that you would look at knights. Uh, you know, wearing armor, right? The, the same way that she's wearing this extravagant dress, uh, you know, that is pretty wide and shit like that. I was always thinking about the same way I think about knights. How the hell they go to the bathroom? How long does it take to take the arm around? You got to take a shit. You know, I, I know it's very weird thinking, but the same way and, and my... Uh, Fear any piss or shit yourself comes comes to light. Oh shit! Would you just stand in there and you just feel like you just let that shit out? And, and Lizette's like, oh, shit, that's just gonna cost you. So I I like that Lizette had this contract thing, and Lizette is definitely my favorite character on this show, um, by far. And obviously, yes, we like Saunders as well. And she's always doing a great thing. But yeah, I find myself, let me ask you guys too, are you find yourself more drawn to Lizette? I mean, like she is just, I, I, I don't know. It's, um, I don't know. She's just, just great, man. It, and the way the outfits accentuate some of the, um, the eye candy moments there is very interesting there. You know, obviously the artist lady had a fixation with, you know, dying shit and stuff like that. You just see, <laughs> figure lies that go, Psh. oh, do you, uh, she was like, do you have a canary? Yeah, she got a canary now. Um, that was some crazy ass scenes. And then another one that I really enjoyed for that split moment. Again, Buffon is another good one too. Uh, Adrian, uh, fantastic. Fantastic dude, uh, just slaying his role here and completely different. What's great, again, this is what shows to me, you know, how brilliant, how amazing, how cool uh, these actors and actresses are because, you know, seeing them pull off this time, you know, um, and I'm so used to the way he acts like in, you know, other shows. Uh, yeah, it blew my mind. So, you know, props, kudos, uh, just amazing job, man. So what he essentially transformed into that outfit that shit was another crazy scene man and you know obviously they'd be taking shots at him a lot too but man this was a crazy episode yeah that guy in the beginning all those various positions there you know you have Lizette hanging up like a bat and then you got Colin Beam essentially like yeah you want one tit or out to two <laughs> she got she got her last laugh there so she thought she was gonna have one up there um which uh she was played for the fool and, and definitely interesting scenes when she resorted to going back to her previous ways out there, uh, you know, pretending to be, uh, you know, what she can do, uh, playing with balls, doing whatever she's doing, trying to entice the uh, local, uh, you know, clients out there was was insane, man. So definitely a lot of crazy things going on. It's it's wicked. It's it, it's funny. It has its insanely insanely moments there but i did like that lizette was you know essentially trying to get a, a better end of the deal um you know with this contract seven page contract with a you know she's she's reciting line chart on uh, page four line three you know b whatever the hell she said uh you know did the food bit you ain't you ain't out fooding uh lizette sorry uh you know, she got some quick ass hands so join the show crazy uh, definitely want to see more and, um, yeah, just having a good time with it. Uh, obviously I can never get every single thing that we watch, but, uh, overall just enjoying it. The, the cast here, 
just draws me in episode to episode. And and obviously the the three main, you know, between Buffon, Lizette, and, and Calambine, uh, you know, draw me in episode to episode. And, and their range is, is just crazy, man. But yeah, when I see them a lot of times, I think of Eddie, I think of, all, you know, all these other characters that they played. But, you know, Buffon really impresses me too because it's a different whole different range for him and yeah i just think he nails it so let me know what you thought of their performances if you had a good time watching all that good stuff excuse me that's some of my eye there um yeah just just crazy shit so like it's definitely a show that i definitely want to see more i'm a little bit sad though because i know it's not the longest of series so uh you know again when, when we finish up the series i'll probably rewatch it a, a a couple times and we'll probably catch things we didn't miss but yeah it is really cool show and, and, and i said before that i shouldn't eat breakfast and, and, and i keep forgetting because it is a habit this is my routine i just eat breakfast before watching this show and some of the gross moments that happen in the show uh the girls hit me out and so this is a good show this is a really cool cleverly written show and you know from start to finish i'm just drawn into it so what the hell are we gonna see next we've seen crazy portraits you know uh, ideas of portraits uh, uh, now we see we see some murders before and ravaging and all these sick wicked shit and now what the hell's next so uh, i'm gonna stay tuned to find out thanks for hanging out all the best and we'll we'll see you soon peace and love everybody peace have a great great weekend